Love is Blind's Uche appeared to be a catch, but quickly showed he was manipulative, especially towards Aaliyah. Uche and Lydia mishandled the revelation of their past relationship, causing tension with Lydia's new connection, Milton. Uche's absence from the reunion robbed the cast and viewers of the opportunity to hold him accountable for his actions, leaving a disappointing end to the season. Netflix's wildly popular Love is Blind series has become a fixture in reality romance by posing a question that most of us wish was true. Is true love blind? The answer season after season reflects the reality of life outside the pods, which is a resounding no. Many believe is only blind if both parties are equally physically attracted to the other. If not, then love comes with numerous conditions. And even then, attraction is just the starting line. Still, Fans enjoy wishing upon reality-driven stars, which explains how the show has cultivated an audience that enjoys the six-week dance before tragedy strikes. The conductors of the dance then tragedy cycle, Nick and Vanessa Lachey, introduce the hopefuls to the process, disappear, and reappear at the very end to host the non-confrontational reunion. The conversation serves more as an opportunity to learn where the couples are approximately two months after connecting in the pods than being an opportunity for raw accountability. Every season audiences look forward to the villains from the pod showing up and explaining their bad behavior. This season, the main villain, Uche Okora, sent in a work slip, claiming he had a business commitment he couldn't miss and would not be able to attend the reunion. Audiences have been vocally disappointed in the last few reunions, claiming Nick and Vanessa as reunion moderators fail to hold participants accountable for bad behavior. Uche's absence, coupled with the Lachey's lackluster hosting work to make the season 4 reunion even more of a snooze fest than seasons prior. Uche appeared to be a great catch, but soon exhibited signs of being manipulative. At first glance, Uche fit the description of a knight in shining armor. He is the stereotypical description of tall, dark, and handsome, but was also very intelligent and introspective. While the ladies couldn't see his physical attributes, it was apparent that he presented confident, successful, and extremely cultured. Trouble started fairly early in the pods as Uche's conversations with Aaliyah moved the two of them closer and suggested a possible connection. Aaliyah approached the experiment prepared to be transparent and shared with Uche an indiscretion from a past relationship. Uche saw the opportunity for manipulation and verbally pounced on Aaliyah, shaming her for the confession. Ugh, so you're a recent cheater, he replied after prodding Aaliyah about her timeline. Uche's condescending tone and accusatory prodding worked exactly as intended, and Aaliyah left the pod defeated and in tears. She went back to the consolation of the ladies' lounge and shared her fear that Uche wouldn't want to be with her because of her past. His manipulative strategy worked and Aaliyah became desperate to convince him that she was a changed woman and wouldn't cheat on him. Ironically, Uche admitted that he'd cheated in a relationship but he convinced Aaliyah that his cheating was less of an infraction because it was during his younger years.